Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to screen record on your MacBook. So let's get started. So in order to screen record, it's going to be really simple, but you do need to press three different keys on your keypad. So you're going to locate the shift key, the command key, and then the number five key. So you're going to press and hold the three keys at the same time. So I usually take the shift, command, and five. And once you do that, a navigation menu like this will pop up which you'll see right here to record. But before you record, you can see you can select the entire screen or select portion of it, and then also capture a selected portion and then a couple other options as well. And then for the options here, we can take a look at options that you can customize in terms of where you wanna save it. So by default it's on desktop, if you wanna set a timer before you start. The microphone, here we're gonna select the microphone to be the MacBook microphone unless you have an external one. So we'll select that. That way we can only record the screen, we'll have sound as well. So I'm gonna hit record here, and right here indicates that it's recording, the session is on, so let's go ahead and open something. So open a new window here, browse, and you can see here I'm browsing around, that's fine. And then let's go ahead and tap, tap on that. Once you click on that, that will stop it. So as long as you give a click, it'll stop and save that video. So let's exit out of this. And this video, you can see here, you can swipe it or click on it. So let's go ahead and click on it. We'll see able to go ahead and play it. And as you can see here, we just recorded the screen on our MacBook. And then we also have sound with it. And I exit out of it. And as you can see here, it's been saved on my desktop here because that's the location I put it. So that's how you record again. Shift Command 5 at the same time will allow you to record your MacBook screen with sounds and audio. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your MacBook. We'll see you guys next time.